Hello everybody, we should be live now, doing some gaming here, actively in these bits. Because gaming is important for the soul, and I thought, you know what, why not do a bit of that. It's always good to do some gaming. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background, but it's simply too warm, and there's no air conditioning in UK houses, or most of them. As far as I'm concerned, this one doesn't have any. So I've got my fan on in the background, and it's just keeping me sort of cool. It's still boiling hot, but it's just a little bit more tolerable. Because, I mean, it's not that hot outside today, actually. But in the house, it's roasting, and my room is the hottest room in the house. So it is what it is, unfortunately. I'm just gonna gonna have to get on with it, I'm afraid. We're just gonna have to suffer. And if that fan gets annoying, um, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. You probably can't even hear it, as people didn't hear it last time. That being said, I can, I can, I can turn, I can turn it up and make it more intense if I wanted to, and then you certainly will. Um, <laughs> my point being, it's a hefty deed. God damn it, fishy! I was trying to sleep. Well, you're still welcome to sleep, mate. You know, like, I just need to do a bit of gaming today. I'm, I'm working on my Last of Us Part Two review, and that's going to take some time. Burnt Offerings is going to be my... I'm actually going to go do that first. It's going to take some time to get my Last of Us Part 2 review my thoughts out properly because it's really hard to to sit there and, you know, think with that game. It makes it hard to think. In And I mean that in the nicest possible way, but it does. Um, Odyssey is way better. No, it's not. Please don't tell me I made the mistake of popping the, the wrong tag on. No, it's Origins. Yes, that's right. Um, it's James Rostron and Cigarette Chair. Cheers for your super chats, gamers. Now we're doing. Now we're doing some hefty gaming. That we are. Have you we come to bring me home? Tell Anand I will not leave my brother. Anand did not send me, but these cliffs are not safe for a woman alone. There are bandits, soldiers. Let them try and take me. It was one of those vultures who defiled Ranafer's tomb. Ah, was gaming. He was taken. The tomb desecrated and the body stolen. And his amulet, the scarab I made to protect him. I will find the naked Yadets who did this. This is going to be gaming. His mastaba is at the top of the necropolis. But why would you help me? Bayek. A man's car must not be trapped in these shallow sands. Why does so Bayek randomly say his songs. name? I am Raya. I will I don't know. The find me there. I just realized that Bayek really unnaturally says his own name in that conversation. We don't even need the horse for that kind of distance. That's a hyena attacking a man. That is my horse coming to say hello. Oh, there's another hyena there. Well, it's gonna die. It's fine. Don't worry about it, gamers. Hyenas dying is literally what I do in my spare time, is I sit there and hyenas dying. They have plundered the tombs of the pharaohs. And now they disturb our brothers and sons. Ah, well, now that they is took game. A hammer to the wall. No one would hear them this far from the village. Ah, well, fuck. Right, here we are in the gaming town. How are we all doing today? A blacksmith's mark. An A within a sphere. What they did not steal, they destroyed. The blacksmith in Set Ma'at. Ranofer was an embalmer. He prepared the dead for the duat. That's what we like. The I wanted to buy a sequel. We got a few ceremonial wrappings. We got a mess called the Odyssey. Bodies. I'm not sure we did, but, but we got a mess called Odyssey. The blacksmith in Set Ma'at. Could he be the A on the hammer's handle? Do you reckon the blacksmith in Set Ma'at is the A on the hammer's handle? Do you reckon? If you had a name like Bayek, wouldn't you say it randomly every once in a while? To be honest, yes, I would. It's a great name, Bayek. So a game you, it's a name you read and go, nah, doesn't do it for me. But then you hear it and you're like, oh, yes. Vayek, that's my guy. Vayek says Vayek because three tenets of the creed state you must not draw attention to yourself. It just goes, my name Vayek. It me. <laughs> the the biased of yeks. Right, I don't even know what that means, but it, it does sound like it could mean something horrible, so I'll never say it again. Ubisoft really did a downgrade with Odyssey. That they did. You're right, sir. It is you. Raya. I was looking for the blacksmith. He is in chains on his way to the fort. Oh, fuck. Why would they arrest him? I ran down from the dunes to tell him of your kindness 
and found the edict. But you also came looking for my husband? A hammer was used to break the walls of your brother's tomb. The handle? This is... Anand's mark. You think he... Never. Ranafar was my only blood. Then why take an innocent man? You are not a calf, Baik. Guileless at the teeth. These soldiers care only for their own pleasures. And they rob our ancestors to do it. I will find the truth of this, Raya. Amun lead you to it, Bayek. The soldiers arrested the blacksmith. Took him to their camp in the Valley of the Kings. Ah, Dylan. JMC Gaming. Isak, cheers for the super chat, gamer. Really do appreciate it. Yes, indeed, it is gaming. Um, how are we doing in the chat? I really don't like the hidden ones outfit. It looks like he's wearing a dress. Does he? See, I don't see it. Right, he's not a calf. He's a gamer. He by heck of gamer. Find and rescue and then the blacksmith. I can see that I'm gonna despise this thoroughly, can't I? You know what? It might not be so bad. Provided there are no ridiculous fire arrows, I mean, that would really do me in. I'm not about to allow fire arrows in my life. You know what I mean? Is this Curse of the Pharaohs? Yes, it is indeed. It is Curse of the Pharaohs. It is Gamer of the Gamers. Curse of the Gamers. That's th that is what it is. Yes, I'm 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 okay with that idea. Curse of the Gamers. Absolute cheese. See, there's already a man on fire, and I've not even done anything. To this area is off limits. You know, what I'd really sort it out is if some guy just showed up, like one of those chat, like Pharaoh Shadow things. I think that would really be quite funny. Right, dickhead. This is the one that was on. Was it? Was this the one that was on fire? Don't do that, dickhead. Right, let's make sure no one else can do that. Why it just conveniently has traps for those kinds of things, right? I told you, I don't have your tools. Hello, civilians. Them from those Hello, civilians. Whatever you need of me, Neb, I will trade for my freedom. Hededu and Echayet escort Anen out of the camp. Now, conveniently, there'll be three blokes on horses with fire arrows, won't there? Because I know how gaming works. You're right, Anen. We're out of the camp now. We can speak. Let's mooch until it says we can speak, and then we'll speak. And then. A bold rescue from under the noses of those Greek shit eaters. So what do you need of me? Information. A hammer with your mark was used in a tomb robbing. Thoughts, cock. Perhaps because my tools Thoughts were stolen cock. by those dung beetles hiding in the cliffs. Remove the H and that's pretty look funny. Like a man who could scare the bull from the last his cow. Come, what is it with these people and cow analogies? Mine. Wait. They have taken more than your tools. They have taken the dead. Your kin, run off there. I will wear their testes as a necklace. Jesus, man. You return to your wife. I will go. She cannot lose both her men. You're right. Make them piss themselves before Osiris. They do not fear the gods. Oh my god, where do you come from? Are you a bandit? I did say that it was going to kick off, right? Yes, I knew do bits. I'm going to go up this way. Those are rare necklaces made out of testicles. Yes, I'd imagine that there are a one size fits all sort of situation, right? I 
All right, die, dickhead. You almost did me in there, and it wouldn't have been particularly pleasant, but that doesn't matter. For I must have skinned in this general direction. Imagine standing on fire. Playing Origins is right now as well. Any clues as to where I could get a lot of silica? Um, tombs, temples. Not temples, that's not in the game. Tombs. Tombs is what you want to look for. I guess they are technically temples, aren't they? The, the tombs within the tombs that you can find. Yeah, those. That's sort of general. Those are the general places you can find silica. Um, revamp the pyramids. Have a lot. What's that? Evening, lads and lasses. Evening, there, father, father, sir. Uh, right now, we must have sconed into this cave. I guess pillagers' hideout. Everyone loves hiding out in caves. Right, Nick face. Now, okay. Well, that wasn't very polite, was it, sir? It's fine, don't worry, I'll live. Don't throw something now, that would just be far too convenient. There we go. That took longer than it had to. Oh dear. There you go. Goodbye. Well, there are no witnesses, so this technically never happened. Every gamer's room is already a cave. That it is. A cave with a rather obnoxious window, I must say. Ah, they weren't even chilling in the cave. Monstrous. Burning the bodies to get to the treasures. It will break Raya's heart to know his fate. But I should return the amulet. Burning bodies and things. I like how the body's intact, though. But now we're just going to leave it. We're just going to leave the body, even though we could recover it, but whatever. It's finally raining, so I'm all good. Have you heard about Ashraf? What are your thoughts? It's, it had to happen. People are, like... Like, listen, there should be no tolerance, right, whatsoever for things that, you know, Ashraf did, which, you know, he used his position... He, he abused his position to, um... To essentially manipulate, um... You know, his fans, people who admired and looked up to him. And it, it's technically sexual misconduct as well. But I don't think... I don't know the full story. Um, at first, it didn't seem like anything that was my business, but as it turns out, there's a lot more to it um, than that first, you know, that first person speaking, saying that, you know, they got they got duped, basically. And there was more to it than that. And that's when, it, that's when I realised, you know, this is a serious thing. Of course, I don't know if Ashraf chose to step down or if this was coordinated with Ubisoft. I, I'd imagine it is. I'd imagine Ubisoft said you need to step back. And you know, well, and, you know, allow the game to go forward. Um, you know, controversy free. And fair enough. And it had to happen because, in the end of the day, this that, this is the real world we're talking about here. Made those cockless dogs answer to the Ram God. Sons of Ashraf. I found the bandits, but I could not save your brother's earthly form, Raya. Thank you. Any more was too much to hope for. Yeah. The amulet. Well, I'll tell you, I'll no. let this play out and then I'll speak. It was speak. for him to aid his passage in the duat. Keep it. Perhaps it can protect you. The way of hearts will not punish him for the crimes of others, Raya. We will see him again in the eternal fields, my wife. This gives me comfort. Emhotep, bye. Okay, so as I was saying, basically, right, as people have been asking me, do you think that, what do you think this means for Assassin's Creed and stuff like that? And my response is, who cares? This is the real world. You know, like, these things shouldn't be tolerated in the workplace, no matter who's doing it. Nobody's, nobody is irreplaceable. There's, there's always going to be somebody who can do Ashraf's job. It's just a case of, I guess we'll find, I guess we'll have to wait and see and find out who that person is. And I think, you know what, I, it's fair enough.
there's a video of an old man thinking he's born from weed. Now that is that is some that that's something you just aspire to be, isn't it? Okay. No, let's have skinned. Where's that? Oh, the haystacks are somewhat difficult to see. Return the amulet to Raya's brother. Right, okay, one second, but I want to see who, uh, what the shadow of Anubis is. Fuck me. What on earth, man? Assassin's Creed is low-key fucked now. Do you think that one person made Assassin's Creed Origins? Do you think that one person is working on Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Sure, Ashraf was the creative director, but there's no denying that there are others working on it with just as much passion as he did, like, as he had. Like, so... You know, it's, Assassin's Creed is not fucked. I mean, it technically already is. And Ashraf can't save it as one man. After Odyssey, but whatever. My point being is, the franchise is fucked, but it doesn't mean that there won't be good games in the franchise going forward anyway. Because I don't doubt that Valhalla will be a solid time. I, I hope it. I hope I'm, I hope I'm proven right. I don't want to be made to look like an idiot. But you get my point. Odyssey type games forever. I don't think everyone at Ubisoft wants to make Odyssey type games forever. I don't think that's necessarily anything that'll ever happen. Like you can you can you can bet money there are people at Ubisoft who looked at Odyssey and went, this is not good. This is like I don't care what the response is, this is just not this is not inspired con this is not inspired work. This is this is bland, it's dull, and it's completely uninteresting. There are people, I guarantee you there are people at Ubisoft who agree with those statements. And it's... It, like, they... When you when when people have the passion to make games, which most people in the industry do, um, they will make the games that they, they you know, they'll, they'll make games they're passionate about making. The, the only reason Odyssey was really that rough is because I don't think Ubisoft Quebec really wanted to make an Assassin's Creed game. They just, they just thought, you know what, if we rush through this now, we'll be able to get to our own project. And that's what they did. They didn't they didn't do it because they didn't have passion for making games, because obviously, I guess they do. But Odyssey wasn't their passion. There are people working on Assassin's Creed who with their, where their passion is Assassin's Creed. And I'm sure there will be, you know, regardless of whether or not Ashraf's involved, there will still be some positive entries going forward. You know, just gotta, just got to be optimistic. I would never say that the franchise is fucked if one man just disappeared from from working on it because in the end of the day the game is not made by one man. Like how you look at a lot of perspectives, bro, you smart. Uh I'm I'm actually an idiot. A massive idiot. But I try my best to not be. Crocodile tears. Oh yes. When you yawn so hard that you, you, a tear, a solitary tear rolls from one of your eyes. A crocodile tear. That is probably what a crocodile tear actually is, isn't it? Do you think after Valhalla there will be people back off from these ancient time people? I mean, Vikings isn't ancient or anything close to ancient. Vikings is 9th century... Um, common era so that's 1100 years ago no 1200 years ago maximum between 1100 and 1200 years ago assassin's creed valhalla set 870 bce no not bce ce sorry shit <laughs> uh, but you get what i'm trying to say is the thing they're out of that now he is risen from the raging waters to punish our enemies you have seen him Yes. Isn't Gods and Monsters basically just an Odyssey clone, or at least using a ton of things from Odyssey, like layouts and combat? I mean, I think it was on Stadia where a, um, a version of the get, like an early version of the game, accidentally launched for half an hour, and people played it, and it was a very early version, basically built off the back of Odyssey. And yeah, no, that did look like a lot of copied assets. However, apparently the game has got undergone massive changes. It's not even called Gods and Monsters anymore. And is vastly different now. And you know what? I'm in I'm inclined to believe that. I believe that they just they used Assassin's Creed Odyssey to construct a concept. And I hope that's that the, no the case. Anyhow. So with any luck. 
So with any luck, right, it, you know, they should release something that's at least unique. I don't know about good, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, how you doing, Sobek? You are Cheers a little broken Jason. for a god. Did that damnable captain at the walk send you to mock me? I heard you stand against the soldiers who killed the crocodiles. I am just trying to protect my family. Why does Edward look like Eivor? Edward does not look like Eivor. They just have the same coloured hair. You thought to frighten them away. Make them believe Sobek strides from the reeds. Why should the Pharaoh's cast not do some good? Your last performance nearly got you killed. I will deal with your poachers. Tread carefully through the reeds, Neb. This captain does not respect the natural balance, so he will pay the price. Oh yes, paying the price for the natural balance, right, warrior. Now, before we get cracking in that general direction, obviously that viewpoint is right by it, so we're going to take the opportunity to do the viewpoint, because obviously... I really do enjoy um, new game plus playthroughs, they're really relaxed. Even if it is on the highest difficulty, it's still quite, you know, still quite relaxed. I mean, obviously, there are the hairy moments that there are in any game, but this one is quite relaxed. Right, before we get that, this, this is more important for me. Just saying though, Ashraf been involved in the best games as of late, just got me worried. Yeah, but he's not the only one, see? A lot of people who worked on Origins are also working on Valhalla. Think of it that way. Ashraf may be the face of marketing, but... That doesn't necessarily make him the driving force of passion within the, like... Within the development of the game. One person being gone will never diminish the passion of the game, so you just gotta wait and see. Darby McDevitt is still working on the game. Jesper Kidd is doing the soundtrack. They've got they've got all these all these hefty Assassin's Creed names. Uh, I don't know who the game director is, but I presume they'll take over the promotional stuff, and Darwin McDevitt will do a bit as well, because he's been doing a bit anyway. Do you think Stonehenge is an Isu temple like the Sphinx? I guarantee there'll be something at Stonehenge that screams Isu. Because, well, they thought the hunter was truly so come on, Assassin's Creed. You don't go to Stonehenge and go, yeah, nah, it's nothing. <laughs> Think of it how the... Ah, count the fucks I give. Right, okay. You know how um, in Assassin's Creed Origins, the Sphinx is a temple, like you said. Yeah, they didn't. Like, there's a temple under the Sphinx. There's, there's, there are temples beneath the uh, tombs in one of the. There's a temple beneath the tomb in one of the pyramids. Um, think of it as that. They won't miss opportunities like that. Oh my fucking god! There's a crocodile. Who, who invited the fucking crocodile? Man? We're gonna have some hard words about why. Stop inviting crocodiles by wearing one on your head, you madman. You said you would deal with the captain, and yet he came and burned my hut to ashes. Be rest assured, the captain is dead. Then like Osiris, he has risen again. For he was here, shouting for me to face him as I cowered in the bushes. Hey, that cannot be. I killed him. Ah, Gisha. Something is very odd, Neb. Has Sobek cast me? Maybe it's because you're wearing you a crocodile work. on your Why head. Where would that be? Where did the captain return to? The outpost above the fields. Oh, I will see how a poacher cheats the jackal. But it is no longer safe for you here. A truth is spoken. I will go south where they honor the god. The rager grants you teeth, Neb. Did Egyptians even know which direction south was? There's nothing here. Have you seen the new ghost gameplay? New ghost gameplay? I haven't seen any new gameplay. I saw a gameplay like a, a, a month back. Something like that. Peak that Ashraf Ismail left, left Valhalla. People are fixating far too much on that. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's certainly not the end. 
like, it certainly doesn't mean much for Valhalla. Valhalla is more or less done. All it's going to affect is the marketing a little bit, maybe. They'll have to think of a new strategy, because obviously Ismail was going to be the um, the face of that, wasn't he? Along with Darwin McDevitt. So I presume Darwin McDevitt and the game director will take control of that and everything else will be fine. In a bit, gamer. Right, Bon, bon sir. Oh, what's this man? I like how they like they, they keep when they when they take prisoners, they leave them with their weapons. They just tie them up. Like, come on, what do you mean you leave them with their weapons? It's convenient. Consider, I think it's because so many so many quests in this game are just rescue quests. That's something I hope Valhalla fixes. Less rescue quests, more variety. And I'm sure they'll do it. I'm sure I'm sure it was one of my biggest criticisms with Origins, I think. I just hope that, you know, they sort it. Because Tsushima reminds me of a classic AC game, oddly enough. I do look forward to, you know, getting my hand on Ghost of Tsushima in about a month, right? Just after that Ubisoft Ford event, it's like, is it 19th of July? No, 17th of July. 17th of July, that's right. Because it was 19th of June that The Last of Us Part 2 came out, and it's 17th of July. I remember them that being slightly different numbers. Well. I like to think he's sleeping in the bushes. Look at him all bloodied and fucked up. You're bleeding very heavily, sir. I just hope you know that. Escort the prisoner out of the Swenet outpost. Well, if we're not out of it, I don't know where we are. Right, lad, what are you saying? Do you care about our history, Senny? No. Baik. I fight to defend. He said his name again, really randomly. <laughs> seeking a relic of great significance. It belongs in a temple. A worthy sentiment. How many warrior points do you have now? Many. Holds the key. 114, I, I think. Merchant for it. And all was blackness, and I awoke in a cell accused of his murder. With the papyrus nowhere to be found. You have a talent for deduction. But without the Penchu's words, neck my only lead. I mean, Odyssey was a great game, just not really AC. Here, uh, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. I think that Odyssey itself. overall is a dreadful game, go to but that's just me. And yes, I can see past it's, assa it's not being Assassin's Creed. Um, the fact that it's Assassin's Creed is the, the, the injury being that the game is a dull grind fest with many poorly acted, um, you know, well, it's poorly acted grind fest. I will say it's not buggy, it's pretty well optimised, but there's not really that much to optimise. And it prioritizes experience points over the experience. Numbers fine all over the place. To be fair, it's something this game does too as well. Like if you hit it, like if you hit numbers, see? It takes some of the things that work in Origins and it uses them as the only thing that works in Odyssey. And I feel like um, overall, it pretends to be an RPG, but it's just not one. Like. I think of it this way, an RPG is a game you can immerse yourself in. Can I immerse myself in Odyssey? Fuck no. <laughs> Inspect the site where Kanika was ambushed. Horse dung, but no horse. Now we know how our thief That being said, I can't really immerse myself in Origins, but it doesn't really go for the full RPG. It's still sort of an action adventure game. Someone is badly injured. It just has RPG elements. Well, whereas Odyssey's trying to be a full Kanika RPG, albeit half assed. Well, let's follow the thief. No one cares about how shopkeepers sell clothes for thousands of coins in Siwa. Listen. If I made if I made clothes in Siwa, oh my god, what the fuck? Kanika will need to interpret this at the If I made if I made I clothing items in Siwa, I too would put the prices through the roof. Because it's just a, I'd be the only person there. 
so, so people would have to cave and give me money and then I'll be fucking rich. Fuck the sea Fuck the sea Oh no. What a disaster. Best immersion. Red Dead Redemption 2 is quite immersive, but it's not an... Uh, is Loki the only RPG there is? No, see, I don't... Red Dead Redemption 2 is an action-adventure open-world game. It's not an RPG at all. But it somehow manages to be a better RPG than a lot of RPGs that I've played of late. When I think of an RPG, I think of a game... But the RPG aspect is... You know, you have to build yourself up. You, ha you have a lot of influence over your character. And there's, there's a lot of decision making and things like that. In Red Dead Redemption 2, I think it accidentally stumbled into certain RPG elements. Like, you look different, you have to... Well, you, you, but you can't customise your character and most things are the same. So it's not really not an RPG at all. But it has it's an, it's an immersive game, just the same. When I think of the best RPGs, I think of... I think of, you know, The Witcher 3. I think of... I'm going to say Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim. I think of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's pretty damn good. Um, games like that, those are you know those are proper you know solid RPGs. Obviously, obviously you got to understand when talking about RPGs, right? That the definition has become so broad due to so many different sub um, subtypes or subcategories of RPG that, that, that saying RPG is actually meaningless. There is no such thing as an RPG anymore. Like what is a role playing in game? What is a role playing game and what isn't a role playing game is com almost completely up to you at this point, um, because there's just no definition at this point. There used to be, it used to not be as broad, but now it's so broad that there's no such thing. It just isn't a thing. It's just uh, it's just a marketing label now. So if you see Red Dead Redemption 2 as an RPG, you know what it fucking is. And if you don't, then it's not. And if you see Odyssey as an RPG. I guess as far as statistics and, you know, gear and stuff like that, it is. But as far as immersion goes, no, it really isn't. These damn soldiers, sifting through the sands, raising our history. Origins is just... And lively open world with NPCs, especially the philosopher. Yeah, nothing is an RPG. At this point, it, it really isn't. Who took it? There's no definition for but RPG. No, I don't care. The relic is all that matters. Hurry, they have doubled their efforts to secure it. I thought no, an RPG was a rocket-propelled grenade. I hoped, but but this is incredible. It is. We must as well. go now to the cave of endless sorrows. That is that is another they reason why we. Should. <laughs> I will yeah, deal with that is actually what an RPG is, isn't it? It's a fucking Good grenade launcher. Okay. You will know the relic when you see it. I will know. How much of a living can you make saving relics? Which three is the best oh, RPG shame, now? I made my money as I'm going out. Bye. Take care, Almighty. Paying off a great debt. To you. you destroy our heritage, our past. I hope that makes some sense, but I think that what I think my general point is. That man just got done in. Pharaoh's treasures will not be plundered. I like to think I made some set. Oh god, I'm gonna die. It's not gonna be good. Give me some health, gamers. This 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 weapon is supposed to be health on kill, but apparently only when it suits the game. I like to think, I like to think this is a bit too exposed for my taste, but whatever. Hey, look at that! That was skillful because there was a log there, and I can, I can still get to him and kill him. What a dickhead! No, where's my guy? You can't kill me, I am God. I like how I stabbed my mate. How are you, fishy? I am a gamer. I am I am gaming, it is what we do. There we 
go. Naturally, there are more. For the cave of endless sorrows. This is the place. The cave of endless sorrows. Such beauties. Come see for yourself. But the question is, does the cave end? For surely that's where the sorrow ends. Can we go through? No? For my shame, I made my money as a smuggler. I am paying off a great debt. It cannot be. You found it. Not it, Bayek. Them. And beautiful they are. The gold hilts, the bar and pet blade, the lily and jackal adorn sheaths. Daggers. R7252 gigabyte DDR3 the Intel Core 2 quad Q6600 2.4 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes DDR3, 1332 megahertz RAM. Can I play 30 FPS AC yeah. Origins? You must take them. Why do people um, why do people insist on asking me if their laptops can run Assassin's Creed Origins when they're just when, I mean when they're factory HP? I understand. I guess a little bit, but no, that will not that's that will not spirit. cut it somehow. May the hills never tarnish in your service, Bayek. Four gigabytes RAM. I love how you fixated on that, even though the entire spec yeah, list is not going to handle the game. It seems a bit old-fashioned. I don't know too much about AMD graphics cards, so that's the part that I can't tell you. In theory, if that's okay, it wouldn't be terrible. But you'd probably... I don't know. You're probably better off, you know... With something with a bit more all-round kick, otherwise. Sister's vow. I need to return the amulet to Big Sir. Back over there we go into ends. Ah, I see. oh I see. I take it into the. I take it into. The, yeah, we can wait and do that later. At ends rising. The fact that my laptop won't be able to run Origins at one FPS. Uh, it, well, it depends. If you don't have a graphics card at all, then it probably would. Um, uh, do one FPS. Can't run, can run Skyrim on my fridge. Uh, there will be a time where you will be able to play Skyrim on your fridge. I know that because Bethesda love money. That might hold a solid 20 FPS on low settings. There's nothing solid about 20 FPS. That's, that that is a very old PC. Your best, the best you can do is Black Flag. I wouldn't try to. I don't know. I wouldn't try to. I don't, know, I don't know, it seems quite, quite ye olde. I don't think he's going to handle this generation game. Certainly not next generation. And last generation, it still, it'll still struggle. I have to turn down the character models to high in this. I don't know, I think, I don't know what, compromi what compromises I have to make. I think it's mostly in things. I'm sure there is one that I've got off, and I don't know what it is. Graphics. Let's have, let's have a look, shall we? Um, ultra high. But what was that? Okay, that's fair enough. Anti-aliasing is only high instead of ultra, but there's no difference, so I guess that I guess that makes some sense. I guess uh, there probably is a difference. I just I just can't see it because I'm blind. Everything besides that seems to be on its highest. That is that on its highest? Yes, it is. Yeah, I just fuck about with things that I don't necessarily need because it saves same performance stuff. Is it normal if your PC gets as hot as another one you play through games? Uh, I mean, it gets hot, which is why it... Oh, it's 130. Now it's 140 Moria points, like I answered before. There we go. I wasn't lying because I technically do now, but I didn't then, so I was um, without knowing it. I thought I had that number, but I, now I do. Um, oh, if your PC gets stupidly hot playing games, does it still work? If it still works, then in theory it's fine, but do keep an eye on your, uh, your temperatures because... If it gets too hot, a lot of computers will just overheat and shut off, so it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. If your PC stays on, it's no worries. Horakti. Secrets of expression and shimmering of form. Ashraf is still a legend and we should respect him and give him time to fix his mistakes. Purified. We should give him time to fix his mistakes. And whether or not you respect the guy is your choice. But what he did was... Tyler said you. this on Twitter. At best, it's at, be at best it was naive and irresponsible. At worst, perverted and vile. Take from that as you will, because I 100% agree with him. 
What is your business? Baik. Of Siwa. My PC can barely run Minecraft. That's because that game names. eats RAM. If I'm not mistaken. You are no priest? Ophilakitai? And the oasis is far from here. What do you care for our troubles? Gaming. Because they are not just your troubles. This curse, it stems from a relic. And countless suffered at the hands of the men who wielded another like it. You have suffered more than most. Amun sees deep into your heart. But it is not men or relics, Bayek. Amun's ire is fearsome. The pharaohs who wreak his punishment for the thieves who desecrate the tombs. You believe this is your lord's will? Amun comes at the cry of the poor and distressed. Then who in Thebes has reason to call him? Many things have been stolen from us. Relics, lives, innocence. The curse does not distinguish between rulers and subjects. But, perhaps, in the farmlands, another pharaoh walks there. But the people have escaped his ire. I will find out why. I tried to play Rogue on my laptop Speak and every two minutes it shuts off. Then That's either because be your laptop runs out of charge because the game drinks it, or because your laptop overheats. Which means you shouldn't be trying to run games on it. And these farmers really welcome the cast. Gaming on laptops is incredibly um I don't know. It's not I'm not gonna say I'm not using the word dangerous because like I said, when a laptop overheats it shut or a computer overheats it will shut itself off. Uh but I, I think it's incredibly unreliable as far as gaming is concerned. If you're on the go and you've got you know a hefty like beefy laptop, it'll handle it. Don't worry. Um, but if the, if the laptop isn't designed for gaming at all, like if it's just um, say your say your basic HP laptop, then don't try. It just won't it just won't work out. You need to set. You need to say a legend mistake. It's only reporting he made a mistake. Well, that's, I guess that's I guess that's true. But he sort of confirmed it himself so, because it, when he when he took time off Twitter, he you know he said that he needs to he needs to focus on fixing this stuff and you know apologize for all hurting and what's happened and that's and then he just disappeared from Twitter. Thing is, though, people are focusing so much on so much on Ashraf being gone from Assassin's Creed that they're forgetting that there are um, literal rape allegations against um, a couple of other uh, people known uh, known at Ubisoft, like um, Escablades allegedly um, carried out of these sexual assaults, and and Cassandra as well. And the people who are coming forward talking about that have given me no reason to not believe them. But nothing is necessarily confirmed yet. I suppose, I suppose the best what, best thing to do is wait and see what happens. Uh, but I feel like that, that you know those those things are much more severe, and people should be a bit more concerned by that than Ashraf leaving because he cheated on his wife with like twenty people. Even though what he did was, um, you know, not particularly pleasant. And he had to step back from Assassin's Creed to sort it. And in a way, I respect the, um, I respect the dignified approach. But I can't condone what happened. But like I said, I don't know for sure what's going on with that one. All I know is, all I know is what people want to know. Will it affect Assassin's Creed? Um, it's not really that important, but I don't think it will. Thank you. Mate, you watch Jor and you try and be smart. What's that? Jor is in Jorat. Two less of those vultures walking the black land. What did he do a video on? You have many troubles here. 
Tihon's men are the least of yeah, he did a video on that shot, didn't he? People disappear. That's 2012 and it was lands before now, for the sake of, by the way. Bandits. Fair enough. Bandits are taking My laptop is four years old and it's completely Why? senile. I'll Why need to get it replaced soon. Anything? Cheers to the super chat, Isak, and I, I guess it... I, I don't Eggers know. To a man. Four years old ain't too old. Then again, PC before this one lasted me five years, so... Obviously there were some upgrades and bits and pieces. I want to know what this guy means by try to be smart. Because I never said I was smart, I just... I guess there's a difference between smart and knowledgeable. This idol. Who is it? About cyberpunk delayed? Crude and simply carved. About cyberpunk delayed? Oh, okay. Um, that video. No, I learned, I didn't learn that from Jewel Raptor, if that's what you're implying. Um, no. I saw it on Twitter. And said my own piece. I don't, I don't even know what your initial message means, I just presume that's what it means. I search what happened. What? Well, I guess I guess look into it elsewhere. Don't take my word for it on anything. I only know, you know, as much as as much as everyone else allows. Not you, mate. Going calm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Typical village fire. This looks ceremonial. If you don't address other people in the chat, I'll only think you're talking to me. You. He plays seed in women. <laughs> he is the nurse in the womb. He will take all who refuse to bow before him. Bow. Bow! Come, let us gather for the ceremony. I will lead you to salvation. Follow, follow! What an odd guy. <laughs> ah, that child? I will say it, Jehuti, just like you taught us. What game are you playing, child? It is not a game. Let's get the likes up, by the way. That'd be fantastic. I am making the ceremony to the sun. To Ra? No, to the true God. Where did you learn that? Jehuti. He protected us, saves us from the cursed one. But they stole him away. Someone took Jehuti? Who? Bad men. Bad men stole the gamer. And it is a sad day for the gamer. The gods fly away. Right, let's... When you dawn, they die. Oh! We fall at the feet of the king, the lord, the sun, our god. Seven times and seven times. Both of I'm having a conversation with the guy while you can get in talk to. You will know more about this. Well, place. I think I'll let you have your chat. I mean, kind of, kind of gaming. But I'll rather make a sincere empty apology and I'll say that I'll try to be better and move. But even with things planned, are you talking about Ubisoft there? Because Ubisoft released a statement where they said that they were um, investigating. I think they said that they got a third party into it to get to, to you know properly run an investigation and see what actually happened. And if there is a way that they can find out what happened, I mean, I guess we'll find out. But I don't know these things are incredibly hard to prove, especially historically. So it, I don't I don't hold much optimism for a statement that that rings hollow, but. I've got, I've got no reason to necessarily doubt it yet. I'll let them give me reason to before I go. You know what? I don't know. Um, but it is whatever. Hundredth like, by the way. That's an awesome gaming moment. Can you, can you not run Origins at max settings with your Beast PC? I guess I can. I mean, it's on. I guess I can, but I don't know why the. That I'm sure there is a reason why I didn't put the um, ambient occlusion at high. Was it? I don't even know if it was. Yeah, that was it. Um, it's on, um, it's on, you know, high and, well, very high or something instead of basic high. I don't know why. Um, I presume there is a reason. I can try, I'll give it a go, it'll be fine. But I guess I'm not going to move. I guess there's a difference between running a game and running a game like at a solid. Ash, I was flirting with girls and uh, was flirting and girls were sexually assaulted. Okay, there's a little bit of um, com there's there's a little bit of a uh, there's a little bit of twisting there, like. Ashraf was doing one thing and there were other things that people are coming forward with about other people as well. 
Like, what Ashraf was doing was, was you know, which he basically confirmed before he came off Twitter. Um, or whatever. He didn't, he didn't say, no, I didn't do this. Or anything like that. What he said was, my life is ruined. Um, I'll... I've got to take. I gotta take a step back from my project and deal with my personal life. Sorry for everyone hurt, um, which implies that he's taking a little bit of responsibility for something. And I don't know to what extent he's taking responsibility there, but I part of me would like to think that the um, the Ashraf that came across as dignified in all that in the um, emotional content still hot, is is genuinely some of that, at least sometimes, and that is. And that's what he means, but my I guess we'll have to wait and see Lord, son, what it actually means. Um, um, but the, the what? But the allegations of you know sexual assault and things are coming from elsewhere, and you've, you've got to just like you know that. Like Ash, what Ash did, like, like Tyler said, naive and irresponsible at best. You know, vile and perverted at worst. Um, yes. But it's not like the Escoblaze allegations where um, you know, supposedly he's, he's engaged in a bit of a naughty sexual assault. And I feel like that's those are more serious allegations that for some reason seem to be getting backseated by Ashraf stepping down. You know, doing the right thing amidst the allegations and distancing himself from a project so that it so that it doesn't, you know, get hindered um, by the controversy, which is a fair move. I feel like people have have paid so much attention to that and worried about how it could affect their precious Assassin's Creed. And this other thing is just it's just Twitter noise for some people. But to me that is the more dis that is the more disturbing and concerning thing at the moment. It's all disturbing and concerning, but that is the thing that really, really worries me. Um, I can't believe I'm talking about this in depth. It's not really my place to speak, but whatever. What I'll do is I'll dig myself in a hole trying to medium it, and it will just be horrible. Um, but knowing that Ismail removed himself the from the final development phase because sanctuary. of allegations. It was the right move. It had to happen. The curse. I must have what you know. He has killed many. I was trying to purify his shrine at the farm, but the bandits took me. They fear the Aten comes at my command. You worship the heretic. Did you go to the pyramid yet? You get swords and shields. The pyramid. In, you know, the base game or the DLC? But the farm. The animals rot. They must be burned. I will go to the farm. In return, you will tell me what you know of the pharaoh. Yes, yes. We must resume our nightly rituals. Find me at the southern farm after the sun sets and the corruption is gone. Reach the cursed farm. I'd love to. Curse of the farm. Fuck the pharaohs. It's all about the farm. I want the fire out. Getting the PS5. Oh, gaming, gaming. Wait, waiting for the drop. That's fine. I used to dislike Fortnite, but today I have a did it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find. Ah, the gaming. Gaming is good. Burn the carcasses at the cursed farm. Oh, carcasses in fire. Fucking hell. Nature hates me. Nothing else. The decaying animals will no longer take the land. Hey. But if you want to buy a for tall, hey, or mini you? fridge. Well, the PlayStation 5 is the only one that actually genuinely looks like something where I'll be playing games that are actually, you know, 
not on anywhere else. Whereas with a lot of um, with a lot of Xbox exclusives, they're on a PC as well, and I don't see the point necessarily in getting an Xbox Series X. It might be more powerful, but it, I don't know if it'll be as refined somehow. I get the fact that Sony will somehow manage to get efficiency going, and they'll sort of even out because games, most games that are cross-platform will be made for both. Xbox exclusives may um, may wind up being some madness, but I don't know if they'll be worth playing for anything beyond you know. Oh, it looks good. To find him after the sunset. But I suppose they we'll find out soon. Preparations for their nightly ritual. But I'll be getting the PlayStation Five. I think it's it's more my. Uh, I think that's more my speed. Um, will you stream on the PS5 for the first day it's out? Y yes, please. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to set it up first, won't I? I'll set it up. Maybe I'll give it a stream when it, and you know, all that. It'll be pretty cool. Also, the Spider-Man games. Oh, for sure. Fishy PC is more powerful than the new Xbox. Ah, uh, just about, yeah. As far as you know, like if we're just if we're just taking into account the teraflops, yes. Um, but you've got to understand that consoles are optimized for gaming exclusively, almost. So they they will do a lot more with less. Whereas whereas PC is like a jack of all trades. If you've got everything in there, or you have to optimize it yourself to the for the most part with a gaming PC. But also, you, you know. It's made to do other things to multitask, and as a result, the before, you actually need more to do less than say a console. So it balances out. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, depends on how games look. But at the moment, there's nothing really that takes full advantage of the um, the RTX 2080 Ti. So maybe we'll see if it if it'll hold up to at least to at least an acceptable degree. <laughs> That's for sure. It'll, it'll still be playing very high slash ultra for a couple years to come, yeah. Then we cannot act too soon for the sake of all who make the farm. To do a stream set and sing up the PS5. Please, yeah, Mike, my room is a shit hole, so. Uh, See how we appease obviously the a shit. Man. Indeed it is. What are your specs? Um, okay. Uh, processor is an Intel Core i9 9900K, which is uh, pretty standard. P some people recommend AMD, others recommend Intel. Depends who you speak to. Uh, I quite like it. We've got 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is for the streaming, for video stuff and all that. Before someone says overkill, it's because I make content. Absolutely overkill for gaming. But not for what I do. It's pretty, pretty useful. Um, Graphics card is an RTX 2080 Ti, as I've mentioned, um, and that's pretty damn lovely. And that's probably all that actually matters as far as, as, far as game is concerned. So the motherboard is um, Asus ROG Strix, um, and the power supply is 1000 watts, so if I need to upgrade the graphics card to something that comes up later on, absolutely possible. As long as they stand, Paul and untainted, you will live in the Arctic. At peace, Bike, would you like the Arctic? I'd love to. You are our desire. There is no other who knows you. Our eyes fall upon your perfection. There we go. A light, a light! The soul god shines his rays upon us. Son, enfolding him in your rays. Living forever. 100% AC Japan after Valhalla. So there might be one in the middle, but I think Japan is next on their list somehow. But I believe I believe they want to do Japan. But they're going to put some time distance between them and uh, Ghost of Tsushima because marketing. But I reckon there'll be one in between somehow. What takes even speak of Ahenaten? One in the Theban archive, but that chiseler Tichon has closed the library to all but his thugs and thieves. I will find a way in. Look for a statue in the archives, pointing towards some crumbling scrolls. One speaks of the Aten and a temple lost for centuries. You think that we worship an abomination? That I'm damning my people? I cannot judge the path you took. 
Not when mine is strewn with the dead. I hope you find all you seek, friend. I like a nice cutscene. Finding Ahenaten's temple should lead me closer to the relic. And who has it? What's this? That... I wanna... I wanna know what... Okay, there's a ten rising. There's another one there. The Curse of the Fair... Okay. Reach the Theban archives. Japan's close building setup and severe weather would be cool. Yeah, I guess. I don't know too much about Japan. But I reckon they'll be taking a similar approach to Ghost of Tsushima, probably. Or Tsushima, or however you say that. That's the kind of like setting you'd probably expect. I don't understand how you're able to start a new game but kept all your shit and level from the other game. How can you believe it? It's called New Game Plus. What you do is you hover over your um, your completed save of the game. If you finish the main story, you'll be able to do this. And then you hit the New Game Plus option, and away you go. Don't know why I had to kill him, he wasn't even doing anything. But it's fine, don't worry. Gamers everywhere kill people all the time. He said that the statue pointed him to the scroll. By order of a Thames. Or a Thames. Everything that is in the chambers belongs to Egypt. Do not think that because someone something fits in your pouch doesn't mean you can steal it from me. Oh, that's pretty cool. There are people that have shown up to do bits on me. Dickhead. Easy. Now this is just a bit smoky. So that's fine. seem to be pointing to anything in particular. Fine work, but this isn't the statue I'm looking for. Points to where the texts are hidden. Oh, okay. Ah, this is it. The statue Jehuti spoke of. It is pointing high up on that shelf. Can I climb the shelf itself, or do I have... No, I have to climb the other... Probably the, the statue, right? now. Not the statue? High up on this shelf. Ah. There we go. Well, right, thanks, Anu. Uh, there we go. Gaming, gaming. There's a scroll not here. Tehon's men are also looking for Achenaten sanctuary. I like these interiors. There should be more nice interiors in um, Origins. I think it'd be cool. But, you know, like interiors of places of bigger structures, if you get me. More of them, please. I'm farting like a bastard. You're all welcome. 90s PC games are the best. Thank you for being down to earth. I do my best, but also, I'm, I'm an idiot, so please just remember that. This game's Combat or Kingdom Come Deliverance? Well, Kingdom Come Deliverance is a niche survival sort of game. It tries to be realistic, and that's respectable, but I don't think it really agrees with me, personally. But it's a pretty cool game, I mean... Unity is getting played more recently. Yeah. Why is that? I mean, people have always had a thing for Unity. Well, ever since the game was out, people have still been pl have been playing that game, like quite consistently. I don't understand why, but cool. I should give it a stream at some point. See if I can uh, see if I can you know stream it on my PC really well and see how that turns out. 
because I know that my PC can hack it. Unity is a good game in my opinion. Yeah, it's fine. I think playing through Unity um, recently has made me sort of realise how, you know, how undercooked it was as far as development goes. Yeah, and it is still undercooked, but I guess that's just how it goes with some games. Unity Stealth is cool if you master it. Well, I don't know if there is a mastery of, like, Unity Stealth somehow. It's a... It's a bit, it's a bit like mastering luck. In the morning, the entrance is... illuminated by the sun. So it's... east. But there's no east entrance down there. I presume it's got to be up this way, right? No? This is the exploration area. Right, if we wait until the morning, we'll be able to see. Stop. Stop. There we go. Fucking hell. Where's that sun? It's still there, isn't it? Right, okay. I presume that's it, sort of thing. Ah, hello. The temple of the Aten. We'll talk about that certainly it wasn't coming from east per se, but okay. Fed the son in the womb of his mother, the great royal wife queen Tai. The beauteous, the long haired. There's plenty to investigate around here, isn't there? The Faro Ahenaten holding a relic. Hidden. So did the son die. Reborn as Ra Rahti. Ahenaten, he who rejoices in the horizon. The royal palace of Ahenaten. Watched over by the Ahenaten and his beloved wife. Nefer Nefru Aten Nefertiti. The Aten. If the Pharaoh had the relic. Cigarette chair, who gaming. Has it now? Exactly, cigarette chair, I agree. Gaming it is. Cheers for the super chat gamer. It's much appreciated. Absolute sir deed. Well there we go, we've a story. must face the truth. This is not Amun's will. I need to speak to her, see how I can put the pharaoh to rest. Does anyone know that this new game plus require an online connection? Well, it came a, it came out in an update, so I, I guess to get the update, yes, but snake. not afterwards. Find the offerings you stole from Amun, Lord of Thebes. Ah, yeah, who are you shouting to? Someone has dared to steal from Amun. I cannot fathom it. But statues of the Theban triad were taken from the temple. The triad? Offerings from oh. those terrified by the curse. Well, that is gaming, isn't it? The secretion is rife in this ancient city. Perhaps I can offer Amun my blade, priestess. And who are you that would do his work? Bayek. Bayek. There we go, he said his name again. A savior from the oasis? Then Amun, sharpen your sword, Bayek of Siwa. <laughs> Find me again if you have news of the stolen idols. The black market merchants are my next port of call. Okay, let's abscond. Oh. AC in Germany where the Nazis are Templars. Uh, that would be gaming, wouldn't it? Good old Isak. Cheers to the super chat, man. Ah. Offerings. Simple statues. Hardly worth much at the market. So why steal them and risk the...
Did the roll. There we go. Good old Senu. Being an absolute sir. Broken bars. They just fall from above. Of course they did. Right, let's go. Ah. Sorry, that mark was bothering me. Climbed down here at night while the temple slept. He repelled her down like an absolute sir and did bits. Oh, and died. That's always peak. I think it's fair to say that this went horribly wrong. A broken ladder. A clumsy thief indeed. That haystack could have been gaming. And now he's bleeding so heavily that we'll likely find his corpse. Oh, help me! Please, someone! Anyone! Uh, I am dying. My life's life fading from my eyes. My leg. I can't feel my leg. You might get quite far. More will be broken if you do not explain the stolen idols. I am bleeding to death, and you threaten me. What kind of monster are you? Speak, and I might find a priest to aid you. Might? M might? <laughs> the blackness is claiming me. Anubis grips my throat. Speak! All right, all right! A black-robed man. I meet him in the rich quarter for payment when I have idols to sell. And you return to the temple because... More idols! But none to take, and then... A goose, it flew at me, knocked me from the ladder. Punishment from the great Kakla, Amun. No. You are trying to frighten me. But I've told you everything. No, no, get me some help! No. <laughs> Goodbye. Not helping that man. He's a naughty guy. He's stealing things. That's a grave offence. It's not happening. Not 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 allowing that in my in my ends. No. Especially since they did the story of the first assassin. What if they tried to do the story of the last assassin in the, for the last game? What would you approve? Mm, well, the last assassin would be modern day at least. And I don't know if I'd want a full modern day game purely because it wouldn't make... It wouldn't feel like Assassin's Creed in, in the sense, but then again, neither did Odyssey, so I honestly don't know what they'd do. Like... Look, I think if you were going to set, like, you know, if it was the last Assassin, it would just be full-on modern day. And it would have to be fucking cracking, don't get me wrong, but... I don't think it would suit what Assassin's Creed is, which is, you know, do all these historical things. And since they've become episodic and, you know... Almost completely at a disconnect from one another, barring little bits of modern day that make vague sense. It it is a bit of a it is a bit of a it's a bit of a hard one to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, no, the last assassin is the thing that Ubisoft will do because you know that Ubisoft can't stick to the confines of first to last, as they did a game about the first assassin, technically speaking, in Bayek here, which was a complete retcon, of course, but they did that, and then immediately the game after. They said it before that. Calf. I honor his walk to honor. Kill him. In the name of the soul god. That's not really a black robe, is it? He was not stupid. Right. Classic. Classic scattered them all over the place. Before I die, I'm scattering the idols all over the place. Hi, Fishy. Hello, um, um, hello there, uh, Midnight Shade OFC. How you doing, mate? Don't worry, gamers, I've got this. Whew. So that, I, I was going to do a video on that cyberpunk thing yesterday, but I, I sort of sat down to do it and realised that it didn't actually give us much that we didn't already know, and I thought, you know what, what's the point? You know, it's cool. It was cool. I'm excited for cyberpunk, but I don't know what else I'd say. 
When the game comes out, I'm sure there'll be plenty of stuff to do. Oh god. The Pharaoh's shadow has arisen. Meat, fresh meat, the best beef in Thebes. Slaughter just this morning at the temple, freshest in this city. I still have the liver of this magnificent beast. Only the best cut for the best tables. The stench is unbearable. First person sex scenes are in the game. Well, that's cool, but mm, not something I'm really too, too too interested in, I'll be honest. I wanna know how I wanna know more about um what what'll be there to find in the world, primarily. Because we all know the content style I made for Red Dead Redemption, uh too. I'd love to make more of that style content. But for a different game. Still recognizable as the great mother. Amun preserved me. Thank you, Nib. You saved me from the Lord of Thebes' wrath. I do. I do look forward to playing Valhalla on PC because that game could, if it if it looks, you know, like. It does look pretty fantastic from that. I know that the um, the gameplay trailer in inverted commas didn't give us much actual gameplay, but it did show off some nice visuals at least. I'm also surprised that that Ridge Wallet sponsorship seemingly um, seemingly isn't upsetting people, which is good because usually when I get sponsorships, people go, "Nah, you can't get sponsored. That's greedy and that and." I thought, uh, but it's sponsorship, man. The Lord of but no, for this Lord one, people are alright with it. Makes me think that it's, it's, a, it's a gaming moment. I feel like I'm being attacked by a hippo. Oh god. Can we get um, a blind stream of Deus Ex or Classic Thief? Thief from back in day was a good time. I like a bit of Thief. Uh, I could do some old games. I, I like old games. They're charming. After I'm done with Origins, I do want to do the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC that I have never done. I only recently, like a, maybe a month ago, finished Horizon Zero Dawn for the first time anyway. And I'm yet to do the Frozen Wilds expansion, but before the Forbidden West even comes anywhere near, you know, release, I do need to do that. Have you played Saints Row 3 Remastered? Uh, no. I didn't realise that was out. Did you play 2014 Thief? I did play 2014 Thief. I don't think I was necessarily as keen on 2014 Thief. Up with all this talk. Hope they are a plague on thieves. That Good old thief is a million times better. Yeah. Should make the SpongeBob game a series. Them for a Don't worry, I'm sure I'll do another video on that the game. Heretic Pharaoh? God help me. Are the perpetrators dead? The follower, yes. The thief fell when he escaped the temple. You can find him in the grounds. This sickness infects all it touches. But thank you, Bayek of Siwa. May radiance ignite your darkness. Go with the hidden one's blessing. I agree with that statement. High precision, Gerech. Well, let's continue back with the main quest that we were doing before. Frozen Wilds noticeably improves upon some of Horizon Zero Dawn's flaws, such as character animations and cutscenes. It's a good DLC overall. Does it um does it improve on the fact that Horizon Zero Dawn loves to overwhelm you just a little bit? Uh, 
Because I like that giant slaying feeling that Horizon gives you, to be honest. I'm sorry I'm late, my internet is trash. That's fine, Taz Batman. No worries at all. You don't have to apologise for not showing up or being late to any of my streams ever. Just want you guys to know that. It's a privilege for me to have any of you here at all. You need to understand that... If anything, I should be thanking you for joining me at any point, or watching it back. My butthole just said squirrel. Ah! It's talking out his ass. But I'm You're welcome. <laughs> I just made a shit dad joke and I'm not even going to apologise. <laughs> Fuck it. Ah, classic. I hear some thunder. Ah, yeah, classic. I, I wouldn't mind a bit of rain right now. Like, I'd go stand outside in it and just, you know... Soak in the rain. I, I I do feel I do feel a desire to do that, if it ever happens. I don't think I should do that, but I'd like to at this point after today. I gamer, it is I. Bad jokes are actually kind of funny. Well, sometimes. Depends on who's telling them. If your dad's telling this. them no. <laughs> you dare bring this into Amun's house. I found it in a temple dedicated to the apostate Achenaten. Let me guess, the shirt is off and you are drinking Doki P. Well, the, the shirt is certainly off. The sun, the Atin. It is not the sun he is holding. It is the relic I seek. This and the man who has it now are behind the cast, not Amun. Amun's will, huh? That he sends a heretic, the father who denounced him. Oh, yeah. No. I sent her out into Thebes. Told her she would be safe. I did this. Ahenaten still walks. He is the key to the relic. I have been blind. Behind Amun's face. Can this truth be? Daughter? This may not be Amun, but Amun. This game is ass. Me. Chill, this is man. Not it's the fine. Gods. Don't you understand? The Lord to the Limit still holds dominion over Thebes. And I am Amun's wife. The people need to know that he still hears their cries. Then tell me his will. Let's take off this um, the support thing. For a my single ankle. speck of dust from a god statue yeah. of Amun. It's like a support. It would purify a Henneton's resting place in the valley back. amongst the true kings. It feels fine now though. Tihon has Before taken I go out anywhere, everything I'll of value from the temples and the tombs. Better safe from sorry. We have nothing left. It's the most brutal game you've ever played. Heard of his uh. His men are oh God, I don't know. He lords it over us. Struts like a scorpion around Hatshepsut's temple. You won't understand Brotherhood unless you play too. I wouldn't know if that's necessarily true, but Fire. also, for the full extent, yes, I guess the it is. The man who has your relic. What will you do when you find him? Long then silence. Watch over you. Bayek standing there with long silence. Watch his hood just suddenly be up again, because it's gaming. Tihon conducts his business around her. The heretic. Complete the heretic is how you do that. Right, okay. Pointless quest then. Fisher, check out the game Bon Bon. No. Ah, 
<laughs> I don't know what Bon Bon is, but I instantly said no. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Fishy Chat Edition. That would be mental, wouldn't it? I hate heretics. Same. It's a really scary game. You really should. Is that Senu? Yeah, it is Senu that was flying about over there. Because she disappeared and then was just there. What did you expect the story of a Bayek sequel to be like? Well, I was thinking Rome, you know, and sort of the rise of um, the rise of Augustus, I'd imagine, is probably what they would have gone for if they'd done that. Because it's around that time, just a bit before. Would have been would have been a much older Bayek, but it would have been it would have worked, I think. What the fuck, Bayek? <laughs> Absolute deed. Yeah. Find the gr uh, find and get Titchen's ledger. I'd love to. The voice acting in the Assassin's Creed series is shite. People don't sound like that, and the gameplay is repetitive. Nice graphics locations, but the main thrust is absolute trash. Depends on which game you play entirely. The ones in which the voice acting let me down, primarily Odyssey. Threes can be a bit hit and miss. Hatham is great, but. A lot of the other characters don't feel, you know, it's particularly authentic. In this game, a lot of characters don't feel particularly nice to talk um, when they speak. Bayek is a well-acted character, absolutely. Um, however, I guess I see what you mean, but it's not all the Assassin's Creed games. It's just a handful at this point. I don't know, in Rogue, most of the voice acting is fine, but, like, sometimes gifts are something ridiculous and it doesn't make sense because of the tone he uses. And Shay's accent is, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel particularly Irish. Um, in Unity, everyone's got an English accent and it makes no sense. But it's fine, don't worry, don't let that ruin the fun. Unity has British accents, and yeah, it does sort of ruin the immersion a bit, because all the other games have accents. Even this game, to a degree, has accents. him with death. Done. I guess that's how you do horseback kind murder. Of about the artifacts they took from the Pharaoh's tombs. And this, Tihon hides his stolen treasures at the temple of Hatshepsut. Must have scummed from this world now, lads. Have fun. Take care, Isak, and cheers again for the super chats. Much appreciated. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Just the British Brotherhood in France. Ah, makes everything better. What's this greeny assassin Christmas? Yeah, you know what? Syndicate has its fair share of oddly delivered dialogue. Uh, try wearing trash gear, no. Because as much as as much as I enjoy a bit of Origins, I don't hate myself. Bam! Right in his mouth. Right now. Right there you are, dude, gamer. Fuck you, dickhead. 
Who next? How about you? Your time has come. That fact I dealt with. Find the statue of Amun Ra. Right, I guess it's through here. I guess I can loot everything else and desecrate this place. Oh, I suppose it's I suppose it's like a treasury from these bandits. You know what? If I if, if I had a treasury this thick, right? I'll be honest, I wouldn't be a bandit anymore. No, you don't have trouble here. I'll take it that gold thing is what we want, but first, gaming. Hail to thee, maker of all, creator of existence, chief of the gods. Hail to thee, Amun Ra, lord of all the thrones in the world. Gamer. All these signs lead to Achenaten being buried with the great pharaohs. Where's the tomb of Achenaten? Is that what you just said? I guess it is. Fishy, did Optimus Prime die? No, Optimus Prime is fine. Don't worry. If you're on about the last video where I wasn't riding Optimus Prime, it's because that was a different um, save. Optimus Prime is the best horse. I don't think it was a good decision to set the foundation of the Assassin's in the sent in the I uh, sent BC because it cuts off all that happened before for more of AC stories you agree I guess but also I don't know where I'd have set an origin story for Assassin's Creed ancient Egypt's pretty damn good I might have chosen a setting maybe a thousand years before even that but it's whatever I mean I guess it works Bike runs like you shit himself when you hold X A. Oh, I suppose I know what you mean, like this. Don't know how it's different, but it sort of is a little bit. Yeah, I guess he's <laughs> running to the loo. He's dashing to the shitter. Fishy, an assassin's crew with the Spanish and the Aztecs. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. So let's have to wait and see. There are plenty of there are plenty of things that they can do with Assassin's Creed that they are yet to do. Like when it comes to historical time periods that work for Assassin's Creed, they'll never run out. Uh, but I do find I am curious myself as to what they might do. We've seen the new Rolls Royce. No, I haven't. Is it? Is it any good? I mean, it's not something I pay attention to. I mean, I, I was I was actually driving home from the shop earlier, and I saw a, a a reliant robin, and I felt like at least there was some hope left for humanity when I saw that thing you know, on its three wheels parked out on the side of the road, with its boot open and a bloke just popping stuff in it. 
um, I was I was very happy to see that Reliant Robin and it made me feel, you know what, yeah, maybe the world ain't too bad. Listen, BLW is my favourite car personally. Like the, the brand overall. Well, the, you know, the the company BMW or like have got a specific car because there are some nice BMs to be fair. I need to scatter the dust from our moon statues. I was just finishing, else. finish playing Red I need to find more Dead Redemption 2 and found your channel. Well, now you have plenty of reason to explore the game to find all the extra bits and pieces and see what you missed. There's loads of stuff in that game to find. It's mad. Fishy, do you, do you farm money on shootout series thing? Uh, no, I don't. I guess I, like in online, I don't really play much online. Find your way through the M2 apps. I'd love to. But in your opinion, what would be a really interesting story for Race here that no other Race game has ever tried before? I don't know. I, to consecrate this I genuinely do not know. Moon. I can start by defiling this vision of a Henaten. Ceremony in the farmlands. Lovely gaming ends. Kuti believed the statues contained a Henaten spirit. Maybe destroying them will release it. The rays of the Aten. They are pointing to the statues of the heretic Pharaoh. Destroy the symbol of Aten. Both idols need to be destroyed. Ah. Because that's gaming. I can't believe there are fucking crocodiles in heaven. Who allowed this? Someone told me the other day that AC Odyssey was better than Red Dead Redemption 2. I may have punched them. Well, I don't necessarily condone punching people, but I too would have punched them. I've been like, wait the fuck up. What do you mean? How does... How do, how like, I get liking, but it just isn't better, is it, to be honest? Let's get that viewpoint. I guess it's miles away. We can wait and do it later. We'll do this first. Ah, it's good to see that even in the afterlife, my guy pulls up with a boat. Ever played Daggerfall? I've never played Daggerfall. I haven't played Arena either, but part of me wants to some point. Or the first two Fallouts, no. Although I love The Witcher 3, in my opinion, both games massacre it. Ah. Good old ye old games from back in the day. I guess you can't beat it from the sense of old being old fashioned in that. Oh Christ. I'm sorry, but AC3 is the best in the saga. Uh, cool, I guess. In a bit, dick faces. You with the boat, don't dip. Assassin's Creed 9, Bigfoots.
what are your top five favorite villains? Well, villains are that. It's not games. Five favorite games of all time. That's a good question. <laughs> my favorite villain games. No, my favorite games. Red Dead Redemption 2 is definitely up there. The Witcher 3 is certainly up there. I want to put Assassin's Creed 2 up there. I reckon I'll put it in there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, other two? I, this, is where you, this is where you get me. I don't know. Why is there a fucking... Ah, who puts these in heaven? Oh, for fuck's sake! As if one wasn't bad enough. Ikarosa joins me in the afterlife, because of course she does. What difficulty is this? Nightmare. It's a really fitting word right about now, but it's fine. But it's also New Game Plus, so it sort of evens out. I have arachnophobia, so now I'm throwing up. Are scorpions arachnids? I suppose they are. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Just good old El Scorpion. Everyone loves a scorpion, I mean, come on. I don't mind spiders, but I think if I saw a, a scorpion, I'd fucking move country. That's a death bird. Ah, cool. Where's the entrance? I guess there is an entrance, it's just below the water. Ah, oh, it's further deep. There we go, it's just a little bit deeper still. Scorpions are scary and cool, but spiders are evil demons. Spiders actually serve a very good purpose. Like pests, like pests, for example, like flies. They deal with them. Spiders are incredibly useful. I think spiders get a lot of hate. <laughs> I mean, they're ugly bastards. Nobody will ever deny that. Even spiders themselves, if they could speak, would be like, we're fucking hideous. But I feel like you've got to give credit where credit's due. They're, they're pretty helpful little buggers, and... I always find myself giving them names. Like, oh, this, this is... This is fucking Roger. He's a spider. My cat just ate a hot Cheeto and now he's rolling on the floor in pain. I didn't realise that dogs and cats cared if they ate something spicy. Spiders are gross, but hey, Spider-Man. I don't think that's cool. If you want to look at gross, no, look no further than slugs. Spiders don't even come close. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't share a bed with a spider. Like, there's a spider in my bed, I'd move it. I'd be like, no, you need to go. But they are harmless, got to, for the most part. Unless you live in Australia. Then apparently they don't exist. Spider. <laughs> However, when I see a giant wolf spider in the corner of my room, I just have to kill it, but the jumpy spiders are cute. Ah. Slugs are manky. Not nice. I live in quite an old house, so we get we have a, we have the odd slug problem. Usually in colder months and things like that. But we've realised that if we leave the light on, the slugs don't even show up. 
I shared a bit with the harmful spider. See, that's the thing though, they, they like to avoid people, don't they? Is combat difficult in Origins? Depends on your difficulty that you set. If you set normal, no. And even on Nightmare, it's not the hardest ever. I think I'd equate Nightmare difficulty, Assassin's Creed Origins, to easy difficulty on Horizon Zero Dawn, if that, if that helps in some way. Or maybe like a hard difficulty on The Witcher 3. Um, albeit it's nowhere near as in-depth, so you'd probably find The Witcher 3 on hard, harder than Assassin's Creed Origins on um, Nightmare. That was a Black Widow. Ah, yeah. Well, that's not a spider you want to chill with. But the best thing you can do is um, jump through a tree like this guy here. Is leave it to it and move it if you have to. Is it like the Witcher 3 Death March? No, the, Wi the Witcher 3 Death March is much harder. Um, the Witcher 3 on normal is probably harder. <laughs> Because it's got more depth to its combat. As Origins on Nightmare is just, you know, you gotta do bits. I hate Australia. This soundtrack is great. <laughs> Dickheads. Oh, cutscene time. That is where it ends. At the temple. Everything is trying to kill you. Sounds fun. But look on the bright side. Great weather. Damn, 2.30 a.m. stream. Well, for me, it's currently... Quarter to 11, just gone. So for me, it's still thought of somewhat early. To be honest, if you are not from the Balkans, you'll not understand it, but you probably won't. It's not interesting enough for you. Praise the sun. Lots of manga for gaming. Oh, no. Love your videos. Greetings from Sweden and cheers. I appreciate that. Greetings back to you, sir. Hope gaming treats you well. Ah, the pharaohs. These these bastards. They are. Uh, they don't. They don't do bits. Especially if you had to choose, would you prefer if there was a net to answer your games with an overarching narrative? And that's my conclusion. I still. I rose like to still have the shit if you're ending. It really has. I don't know. I'd probably just leave it how it is for now. Whatever. I'm an hour ahead of Fishy, that's gaming. You live in the future, sir. He's a tall boy. But I don't show it fear, it can smell fear. You know what it can't smell? Your mum. Right, now. Oh god, he's got me in a battlefield like position here. Die, dickhead. Stop it with whatever that is, it can stop. Whoa, look at the fucking damage it's doing! I'm so glad for health on hit gamers. Headphones are hit. Now it's gaming.
This is terrifying. If I die now, I swear to God. There we go, done. Soul UK. Or Soul 3 UK. What are your thoughts on the future of AC if Ashraf Ismail leaves the project? It'll be fine in the long run, and Valhalla will be fine. Cheers to the Super Chat as well. Great God Just gotta give it a dies. chance to be fine. And the Aten is taken up by his successor. Was he ever a god? Or only a mortal? There we go. Lovely. Isn't that just gaming? Right now, abilities wise, we can do bits. We did him in though. We did manage. It was hard work, but we managed. Now I want to get that bloody viewpoint. Where was it? Hmm. Oh, I've done it. I've got it. Oh, it's fine. I forgot that I got it, but I got it. Gods, oh, gods or creed. Let's do that. That seems like fun. Akshay Prashant, the fish monster strikes again, origin style. Cheers, Akshay. I really appreciate the super chat, man. It is a gaming moment. It's fine, don't worry about the gamers. Set to my act. This sounds like a thing that you'd say when you're sorting out your act. I got my bits and pieces, but... You'd have thought that immovable object, like... Like... Spirits of the dead won't notice when their mates die, they just, you know... They'd be committed too much to guarding their posts, that, you know, they're all dead anyway, what does it matter? But it is whatever. Keep up the game and mate, love it. Cheers, Akshay, I shall do my best, don't you worry. Tomorrow I'm going to properly get cracking on this um, The Last of Us 2 review. It's going to be quite laid back compared to my other reviews, purely because, like I've done in the past, purely because it's Watch such a, you know, it's so hard to, you know, like, eyes. look at it one way. They are my soul comfort. Come on, let me in. Let me in through the fucking window, man. It is not here to look fucking glorious. Let me in. There we go. Was that so difficult, Bayek? I guarantee you it wasn't. Have these shrouded ones sent you to me? What happened to you, Neb? I grieve for the true gods. This is my crime. Gods are greed. I will return you home. Home? It lies southwest of the bridge, but my heart is dark with the lioness fled. I love how I can sneak up on these guys. They don't have eyes in the back of the raid or anything like that. Neve, cheers for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah. 
I'll never not have to take a moment to make sure that I pronounce the name right and don't just go Nyam. Because knowing me, I would. <laughs> Why were you imprisoned, Neb? Titans standing upon the shoulders of men. I speak of things they have forgotten. A black peaked ibis. A coin hawk. Some memory haunts you. With the quick claws of the cat. The sun seals my eyes. It should not blaze so. Harsh old man. You are nearly home. Come on, jump, Bayek. Oh fuck. He can swim back to the shore, but he's otherwise useless. Sleep here for a moment, sir. Don't you worry, I've got you, sir. Don't worry, stop moving. No, this is clever. Don't you worry, I'm using my brain. Be a clever sir. Yes, this will do it. This will do nicely. Why is everyone talking about religion? Let's not be doing this. <laughs> not something I would do. Ah, Kui lives down here, because of course he does. Ah, now he stands what up. Is eluding you, Neb? Who do you honor? Your family, your gods? I still <coughs> honor the gods. Then you are blessed. Each moment they fade a little further into shadow. Only in the inky hours do they come. Tenebrous, hidden. But they whisper as I sleep. They send you dreams. What a strange house. What do they say? <laughs> it's so odd. What are we doing here? The blue hawk lies with the forgotten treasures. The black what would you do if someone donated a million dollars on the stream? The old uh, I think the limit on Super Chats is $500. His great wings, but he cannot escape the jaws know. of the bloodless titan. I, will help I genuinely you do not know if it was possible. I'd be paying a lot of money in tax. That's the worrying thing. But it would better be a mad one. <laughs> what would you do if I don't have a gold bar? $500. I mean, I'd appreciate it like I appreciate all donations, but it would, it would I mean, I don't, I don't want to um, necessarily entertain what if, what if you donated that. I'd rather like, if, I'd rather just, you know, have a, have a chill stream. If people want to donate, I advise, I advise that you keep it small purely because I don't deserve that amount of money from anybody. Um, are you going to play Odyssey after this? Um, or, or any at all for that matter, sorry. Um, no, I'm not. Am I fuck gonna play Odyssey? Where'd the guy who was detecting me go? Oh, he's up there. Uh, where are the, the buffoons in his ends? Can I sneak through? I guess I can. Fishy's army, which is us versus the world. We are getting this. I'm uh, playing this recently, so good. It is a classic time. Oh god. Oh, I just nearly did myself dirty there, didn't I? Big man with stick is coming to say hello. He's huge. Look at him. Goodbye. Got a dickhead. In you come. Look for things that glow gold. Ah. 
the statue at the forest. My horrors. Papo, a keen eye protects you. Can I do can I donate to you, can I donate to you my liver when you waste yours in the pubs? Uh, absolutely. I'm always I'm always down for a liver that I can use once mine goes bad. <laughs> Little like you threw a snowball. Well, I've been playing Odyssey for like 130 hours and it says 60%. That's 130 hours that you could have spent doing something else altogether. Yeah, the Horizon DLC is what comes next. I don't know. Then if we are, then then after the Horizon DLC, God knows, I might, I might just start up a playthrough of The Witcher 3 or something again, because I'm kind of feeling that. I mean, I only recently played through it again anyway, but I don't know why I'm kind of feeling it. I think it would be a good time. I played I played through the entire game for a um for for a single video, and I feel like it was a lovely time. Grounds. The ships aren't carrying statues of the old gods. <laughs> Crocodiles wiggle. It's weird. Canadian brothers, if you want a drink, eh? Well, at the moment, that's Raya not likely to happen, is it? Busted. The invisible boar when she had her morning sickness. Oh no, the cat has been completed. Divis. Sleepers for the week. Well, I'll be doing plenty of sleeping later. I've been busy of late. I know content hasn't necessarily been the, the most prolific I've ever been as far as making content is concerned, but I have been very busy of late. You know, like doing lots. Oh. It never stops for me. It's Friday now, isn't it? Unless I've lost track of the day. It is Friday. And yeah, it, it, it is, right? Yes, it is. Oh shit. <laughs> My brain stopped. It is indeed Friday, but unless you're in Australia, and it's certainly Saturday. Um, and anywhere over the, those ends, some people it's Saturday already. And it's Friday. Um, but yeah, no, we're doing bits. That's what matters. Oh Jesus. I can tell that I'm not going to sleep particularly well tonight because it's so fucking sweltering in this room. It's like a sauna even with the fan on and the window open. No, it's that for me. It's gaming. I really like that. That's really kind of atmospheric, isn't it, this thing? It's a bit like a, a gaming moment. Saturday for you. Might be Saturday for me for another hour. Fine thought. Okay. The green ibis cannot escape the jaws of the bloodless titan. Oh. 
whatever all that means. I guess it just means go in here and do this. Smell. Now I can restore the gods to Kui. I hope these likenesses of the gods with Kui. I can't even get out of here, can I? I have to go. Gods or Kui return to return to Kui uh, or Kui. Or however you pronounce that. Try to call me. Same here. Shows box controls. That's why I asked. Uh, you can hook up your controllers to um, to PC. That's what I do. Is hook up um, a controller. Um, but yeah, it says PC as it says in the title. Um, so probably best to assume that it's PC based on that. And the fact that it's performing nicer and looking nicer than it does on console. I'd hope anyway. Probably looks the same, but before, but the performance is a bit smoother if you notice. There's lovely PC in it. There was a corridor behind you. No, I do not care. We did things the gaming way. It's quicker. Heck yeah, yeah. And people here understand basketball, even the mod. I love this house. I wish I could live here. I wonder where he sleeps. We'll find where he sleeps and we won't rest until we do. Oh yeah, it's the afterlife. They don't sleep. Fishy. 82, tell me some tips. Yes. Follow the marker. I Follow the obstructions. Oh, sorry, the instructions. Lord You're all good. Of the hidden sun. Some tailing missions take um, You think you betray your past bike? This path you walk now, the tenets you live by, they are within us all. We too value the innocent. We too long for peace. If you desire peace, Spike, accept it. I got a message from Bayek. Oh no, Bayek was like, cheers for that message, Bayek. Really insightful. Hunter. Ammon's Might, which is a regular sword. My well, only one who just bought Origins recently, lol. Fair enough. I think that's all the question this ends, isn't it? Sister's Vow. Oh no, hang on. We have to leave. Yeah, that's a different, different place. We have to go to the Duat to do that one. To the Valley of the Kings. That sword is meta af. I don't care. I don't ever care about frames and I'm broke. That's why I don't. Uh, PC. I need to. I need to leave here to view Thebes, and then I need to do some gaming. Can probably go down to view the afterlife that's in here and find the gamer. Let's go here. Oh, it's a black screen. What's happened? It's taken a moment to figure out what's going on. I got Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition two days ago. I reached level 11 today. It's incredible. I love the game. It's a great game. I recently played through Horizon Zero Dawn myself and I'm loving it myself. Return the amulet to Raya's brother. Oh, love to. Whee! I like the. This is the Duat, isn't it? Yeah.
No, they'll attack me for just existing. Because I simply do not belong. So I need to I need to I need, I need to slip. Are you Raya's brother? He changed completely. Did I know you when I lived, Simi? Your sister made you this amulet. It was stolen from you in life. I come to return it. Anubis granted you passage? So my sister's offering would protect me even here? My words are feeble for such a gift. Stay well and strong under the radiant lights, Ranofer. Well, that was gaming. Oh, I got an ability point. Let's go into that. I don't have any quests that take me here, so I should... So I should probably abscond from the duat for now. I want to get these viewpoints. I know that they're important and that, and that needs to be done. The Waset Desert is also an important location. More on that in a bit. Someone answer me who ate the fruit? I know where the quest is, it's down here. Speak to a Sidora, but first, before we do that, I'm heading in this general direction and doing bits. It's always good to get viewpoints, they're good for you. Let's get the likes up, by the way. Some likes would be wonderful. Why do you only focus on the warrior class? If you were to evenly split out the other mask classes, you would be stronger. Haha! <laughs> Backseat gamer! Fuck off. Imagine not having 300 mastery points. So even on the highest difficulty, you're one-shotting everything. See, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll break it down for you if you want. So you've got Warrior, Seer, and Hunter. Hunter, that's archery damage. You upgrade that, you have stronger archery damage. This is combat damage, and this just is just damage done by um, tools that I barely use. So, in theory, if I evenly split over the other two, I'd be strong enough. But in combat-wise, those Warrior points are very useful. What will you stream after Origins? Like I said, I want to do the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC that I'm yet to do. Oh. And it will be fantastic. Oh. Even as in front, you didn't mean harm. What do you mean? What harm did I do? Just said, backseat gamer, fuck off, which I... So I guess I mean when I hear backseat gaming, I have to go fuck off because I like to play the game my way. And if we've got this far, we're doing okay. Focus on Sea of Poison Darts in this game are beautiful. No, I'll play the game how I want to play the game. Thanks. If that's okay with you. I mean, it's okay with me. Drowned Tools. That looks like a fun quest to do. We'll go do that, actually. You can get that viewpoint another time. What's the difference between backseat and side seat gaming? I don't know. Whoa. 
The Horizon Zero Dawn DLC is so good. Yeah, I look forward to it. I will find his money. This man speaks the truth. Stop. <laughs> Will not extort you again, Neb. Ah. Oh. Halaku, please. You struck them down for their cruelty. Why does the Pharaoh not punish them? Bayek. They pick over <laughs> our boats like Bayek. vultures. You cannot pay no. your taxes. We cannot pay because we cannot work. And now Sobek is angry with us. He sent the Pharaoh to flood the fields closest to the great river. You have seen the one who walks. Oh, the guy who backs the game. Oh, okay. Nightmare. An abomination. My brother well, I need that confirmation for you. Watching you play is nice I ran because you try to play it your personal way. It's good your to see just how many people play style, how many play styles there are there. Show me the fields. That's pretty cool. We will find the source of your suffering in honor of your kin. I have always paid my due, but with the curse many have left, their fields lie fallow. These charms, have they not protected you? Symbols mean little daubed on the walls of empty houses and hearths. But we do what we can, or we starve. And now Sobek is angry with you. I walk the fields every day, pray for a bounty. Instead, he sends the deathless king. Where he walks, a flood gushes forth. A flood that washed my tools away. The Great Silt River. And any who venture in, feed his gnashing children. A tragedy we cannot weather. And without pickaxes, we cannot bring water to the fields. The Pharaoh may as well have taken me with my brother. Wheat ready to be harvested, but without our sickles, it will wither and die. Ah, ah, a classic. I will come. I believe it. You will scare the bull off his cow. <laughs> Collect the farmer's tools, which have naturally been scattered again. Why does everyone? Why does everyone scatter tools? Oh, by the way, the crocodile here. Of course, there is. I mean, what do you mean? I don't know why I keep accidentally throwing down tools though. But I guess it's fine. They like throwing stuff around in this game. That they do. Naturally there are hippos too. It's just all kinds of madness. The tools of an honest farmer. Don't mind me, gamer. Just here to get the tools. <laughs> Get out of conflict. We could be here all week. They chase you like the angry hippos. Bam! Oh fuck! Off. Right, here we go. Fine. Return them to Halakuf. Halakuf and his people can bring in their harvest. I'm on Discord right now also, that's pretty cool. I suppose after the stream I'll swing on by and see you there maybe. Let's get the likes up to 200, I feel like that's a good number to hit. Yeah, everyone loves being carried by Bayek as well. It's so odd. That Mass Effect video is a must watch. If you have the time, yeah. Absolutely. I love that video a lot. I like how this guy just dropped his, his mind now. Goodbye. <laughs> I am but a simple farmer. Don't mind me, guy. Have you ever played a Just Cause game? I liked Just Cause 2 a lot, but 3 and 4 just don't Your do it for tools. Me. A little weathered, but still strong and sharp as Sobek's teeth. I wonder. I was wrong. The wards we painted did not stop he who walks. They brought you, an eagle amongst vultures. Take care of yourself and your people, Halakuf. How many views Honor is that Mass Effect video on? Fine harvest. Nearly 19,000. That's pretty, damn, that's thousand pretty loads, damn good.
Huh. Look. Yep, well, that's pretty damn good. I do like a bit of gaming. Um, that is all that matters. I was just checking the, the views on that. I thought it was. You saved our time. livelihood, gave us real hope. The I've cast the has a foothold here no longer. Photo plus. Your okay, I've got proud. a skill point. Ability is put into hunter. Okay, I guess I want to get that viewpoint now. It is important. My phone is about to die, and then I'll play AC Origins. That sounds like not a bad move. Let's get the likes up, gamers. Yeah, I, that Mass Effect video seems to be um, gaining a bit of an audience, and I'm quite happy with that. Um, it, allow, it gives me time to make other kinds of videos as well. Die, animal. Listen, Senu's perception is important. Very important indeed. Senu likes to perceive things. I'm gonna get launched off this horse because it's the water's too deep in a minute, watch. This place is heavily guarded. I love your Horizon Zero Dawn streams, but there'll be more soon, don't you worry? There'll be plenty of Horizon Zero Dawn, um, the Frozen Wilds, is that the name of the DLC streams to do? So, I can't wait to get cracking on those, I just have to finish Origins um, DLC first, Curse of the Pharaohs. N no way in hell you're going to get me to touch Odyssey. So, we're straight on to that after, after these, at some point. The guards here are vigilant, that they are. be 20 past 11 now jesus time's time's flying <laughs> suppose i'm just suppose i'm in the zone just doing bits uh right what's we got let's suppose now if we return to my gamer over here it'd be okay by the way is eagle vision ever really explained both the pulse kind of thing and the literal eagle vision um it's I don't know, it's, apparent, it's like it's a dormant ability in every human, and some unlock it naturally through having Yisu DNA or something like that. And it has varying degrees of strength, depending on that DNA, or something like that. Although the controllable eagle in Assassin's Creed is literally just a gameplay mechanic. Bayek doesn't actually see through Senu, I don't think, because that's not in the book at all. Um, according to James who read it, I didn't. I can't be asked. Wish I had eagle vision. It is gamer. Um, Edward describes it as the ability to see sounds and to and to, I don't know to to hear smells or something like that. So I guess that's well, that's what it does. Mixes all your abilities together to create a a more defined reality, so you can see exactly what you need to do. Nefertiti and Achenaten are no more. I defeated them in the Duat. You have seen the land of the dead, yet still live. No. It was a trick of the mind. I walked through the field of reeds, felt the breeze against my skin, but I was never there. I doubt I ever will be. Never doubt it. I do not need to know what you have done to know that there is a way. I will help you find it. The Aten. Achenaten passed it to his successors. It could have been stolen from many of their tombs. I hear Tihun's funeral is taking place soon. Did his ledger reveal anything else? He knew the tombs quite well. No. Irsu, the bile that robbed Nefertiti's tomb, did say he was working with others, but... Well... What happened? Is he dead? Yes, he can see if you can send him, can he? Soldiers coming. Please, the gameplay, yeah, but it's never seen. explained in the book. Yeah. Oh. Priestess, a question. We have been investigating a ring of unsanctioned tomb robbers. Imagine my surprise when our prime suspect turns up dead. I know you had your differences, so tell me, Priestess, who killed Tihon? 
Imam. Was he not one of yours? A comrade of your strategos. So much for that. I could have just left, but nah. Why would I do that? I'd just kill more of them. Bypass is also Mr. Vezio and then A brazen thief such as Tihon will thief, live in a richer part. Find Tikon's villa. Okay, don't you worry. My great grandpa killed the German leader who fought a, 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 a. What? I don't think Bayek is related to the Auditore Kemoy family though. No. A lot of them aren't. They're not related to each other. A lot of them, even the ones where they're related to the descendants like Altair and Ezio and Edward and Connor, they all have a common descendant in Desmond, but none of them are related to one another because Desmond's a descendant of all of them and those that means that they could come from literally anywhere. It's madness. I should be cautious uh, did I say yeah, Desmond is a descendant of all those um, people? Yeah. God, I feel like I said Connor accidentally. Fuck. I don't know why I feel that sometimes, hey, even though I know I don't know. What? Whee! Dickhead. Ah, you. I've been waiting for you my entire life. I doubt they'll be doing much fussing at me now. Their slavish mourning leaves me time to search his villa. The Stratigos men have already been through here. What did they miss? Ah, locked. I need another way in. Easy enough. Tikhon and Ersu are working together. Papers are undisturbed. Treasures from the Pharos. Quite a hoard. What else is there in here? Ah. What is this? is looking for the relic so who are you lotus gamer lotus is gamer the ship docked in swenet that is my next port of call travel to swenet find the scribe's office Jump up, see what the quests say i presume the lotus i have to in order to do that i have to do blood in the water Fair enough to swen it we go. What do you give Horizon Zero Dawn's name story out of 10? You see, number ratings are completely useless when you realise that anything below 7 out of 10 is missable and doesn't matter. So, I don't know. I play hockey when I'm drunk. Right. Okay. I'm gonna kill these guys because they're dickheads. Scribe and Senate. Oh yeah, I killed those guards unnecessarily and now these guys want me dead. I think I missed that guy and hit the civilian behind me. I'll just kill that guy through the bloody horse. Move, horse. 
fucking horse, man. <laughs> Luck on that. Here we go, gamers. We've made it. Place looks deserted. Where could he have gone? If I played that through the speakers, Dennis would be barking Ooh, by now. And you are? A tut. Looking for the scribe. You and half of Yebu. <laughs> but no one has seen him since yesterday. I need to find him. Well, are you not strong and masterful? But why would I know where he is? I am only the one who pays his wages. Ah. Wait. Wait. I cannot bear to see anyone so crestfallen. Try the hunter's village. He has a taste for exotic meat, if you know what I mean. No. No, I don't. Hippo, silly! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he headed to the Paris village for more paper. Thank you, Neb. No, thank you, Neb. And if you do find him, tell him he's fine. <laughs> Find the scribe. Tell you what, we could do that. Exotic meat, bro. He getting thirsty as fuck. Uh, I guess. I guess so. Maybe he's just after genuine exotic meat. Signs of a struggle. This doesn't look good for the scribe or the manifest. Good news is that doesn't look like a scribe. Bandits ambushed him. I need that manifest. They must have taken his belongings to their camp. Back games half after the DLC are we? Um, I don't, I can't remember, I've only played for this DLC once before. Oh, that's pretty cool, I never knew you could do that. You're inside now, dickhead. Who next? This is the Lotus ship. It says it docked south of Yebu. Uh, hopefully it is still there. Exotic fishy, that is who I am. Reach the Lotus is his ship. It is anchored south of Yebu. That worked, even though I swung the other direction, but okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't even kill me. This is not looking good, but it's fine. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I can't believe we're not dead. Then again, I'm supposed to be more optimistic than that. It's really static, so I should be okay with this boat. I like how the Desert Origins used to the trick to render distance where everything in the distance becomes distorted because of the heat. It's a good trick that helps FPS. Yeah, I suppose. It's always good when a game tries uh, to be clever like to a safe performance. Of course it has, I mean, when would it not Audrey. be? Very fine craftsmanship. Audrey. 
Very fine craftsmanship. Oh, we get it. But what's this? Who puts fucking snakes in their baskets? Pieces of broken relics. They left the precious cargo untouched, looking for information, not profit. They tortured the sailors for information. A lot of blood. Someone dragged a body towards the edge of the deck. But where did it end up? In the water? A distraction, maybe. There was a fight here. But someone dragged a body overboard to try and create a distraction. There was a fight here. But someone dragged a body overboard to try and create a distraction. Did they make it to the shore? Where's that hippo? Fuck! Oh no! with my horse someone stole your horse did they come from the ship yes some rust haired demon slithered from the river like an otter stole Ganymede and rode off towards the smuggler's village and your clothes a man cannot even have a refreshing swim without thieves and vagabonds setting upon him now what am I supposed to do game intensively uh, pray to Sobek to return your robes Suppose that's cool. Find the red haired thief. Well, that's not Sutek, is it? I think we're gonna do this quest and then we're gonna wrap up anyway. Uh, God, get back! Bangs for fuck's sake, man! There we go. The horse is supposed to just show up and wait, not run around and do a madness. Hundred percenting origins? No. I am, however, gaming. Is that gamer? Bayek, can it really be you? I can't believe it. The flea of Cyrene here in Yebu? No. Little Essio. Not so little anymore. What are you doing here? Is Spintos with you? I haven't seen him since he left Cyrene. But he sent me a small fortune to set myself up. And what did you set yourself up as? <clears throat> well, this is a smuggler's village, so... You are a smuggler? I am hoping to be. I heard that there is a merchant woman. She transports lotus wine from here to Rome and... Siocles, if I was your father, I would be ashamed. You waste your talents on criminal schemes. I... I would send you back to Cyrene. But I fear the mischief you would cause there. I do not want to have to explain to Diocles why. All right, please. All right. You have made your point. A life of crime is no life. Ah. Go to Rome. Find a friend of mine, Amunet. Tell her I sent you, and she will keep your idle hands busy. Ah, that's gaming, that. I wonder how he gets to Rome, but okay. Ah, here's... Sutek? Sutek. <laughs> of course. How many more red-headed thieves are out there? Thief? I'm no thief, Bayek. Ah, your uncle's auction. That fisherman's horse. When you put it that way... I know you are on this ship. Who owns it? Troubled dogs my every step. Am I responsible for those desecrators? Can I help it if one was my blood, another pays my wage? The ship, Sutek. Ah, yes. Now that was an adventure. Now he tells us what he's done, and it's game. I was doing important work when we were boarded. Of course, the crew panicked. Me, I was cool as a breeze at the oasis. 
They were shouting for Merti to come out, but she was never on board. Wait, the merchant woman? They searched the whole ship, killed anyone who got in their way. Until they found the captain. Dragged him out, kicking and cursing. Killed his men in front of him until he told them where she was. I was the only survivor. Crocodiles below me, soldiers everywhere. I made my epic escape. Epic. By throwing a dead man in the water to distract the beasts. Oh no. That is naughty moves there, Sutek, you naughty guy. We're gonna have to slap now you in the mouth now. we have established your heroism. Where is Merti? Probably at her villa west of Yebu, the house of the Blue Lotus. It's by the pretty waterfalls. I could come with you, fight by your side. I will find her. And you, keep out of trouble. Of course, of course. I wonder, how would someone become a smuggler? I am asking for a friend. Ah, classic. So we ran into Essiocles, and which is an which is an SEO reference, and now he's gone off to Rome to join the Hidden Ones, and that gamer is going to do bits as well um, down here, I guess. And I guess this is as good a place as any to conclude. There's a viewpoint over there that I must get, but also I think I'll leave it. Actually, I'll leave it for next stream. We'll do it then because uh, I'm kind of I just I, I just need to stop. Otherwise, I'll be going all night, and I don't want to be doing that. To be honest, I want to be. Sleeping good, getting up at a decent time so that it's all in good, in, all in, so I'm, you know, doing bits in good, so I can actually get some work done tomorrow. <laughs> Fat Geralt, cigarette chair, you absolute legend, swooshing in with that super chat, yeah, talking about that character for, I'm not even going to go there. Fat Geralt is my favourite character. Viewpoint time, we'll do the viewpoint next stream, it's fine, don't worry about it. Let's look at it though. Actually, we know. Let's look. At, let's look over the beautiful town that we've just, we've just come from. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? So yeah. Hmm. Thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe to the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. I would like to thank all of the lovely super chatter gamers: James Rostron, Cigarette Chair, Isak Mani, uh, Sol Three Sol UK, Akshay Prashant, and Neve for your super chat donations. And also, I'd like to thank all the lovely patrons over on the Patreon as well for your support. It means, uh, it means, you don't understand what it means, gamers. It's fucking fantastic that, you know, I can rely on these gamers to, you know, help support the content. It's fantastic. Um, whether or not you um, want to join that list is completely up to you. There is a link in the description. Uh, there's some extra content and bits and pieces over there. I need to do another fish tank soon at some point, which is like an exclusive podcast slash thing that we have over there if you consider it as such um but yeah no don't feel forced to it's all chill it's just um there if you feel like it anyway i will catch you all very soon with another video or stream at some point but until then take care and goodbye